Eventually, the trees finally gave way to a great stone mansion that stood amid a clearing. Thorny vines wrapped themselves around the marble columns that supported the tall portico. Narrow arch windows adorned every wall of the mansion. A glass dome wrought in iron dominated the roof. This should be the place, I said, walking up the stone steps of the portico. It's huge, Mark whistled. I ignored his comment and brashly knocked on one of the double mahogany doors. Mark cringed at the loud sound while the rest of the crew remained still. Our swords were strapped to our belts and we placed our hands on them as a precaution. After a moment, the door opened and a short man with crinkly pale skin and wearing black attire stared back at us questionably. questionably. Yes, the man asked in a slow, raspy voice. <clears throat> I, I took a step forward and said, I am Captain Cordelia Thomason of the Raging Storm, and this is my crew. I must speak with Saron. It's urgent. Oh, the man's eyes gradually widened at my name and his lips curved to an O. Is the master in trouble? No, but if I don't see him this instant, he just might be, I warned, seizing the hilt of my sword as a warning. The man swallowed a huge gulp and he shook. Ah, yes, give me a second, please. I must inform the master. His speech hurried, just as quickly as the speed of the front door slamming shut. I think you could have been a bit calmer, Captain, Amy commented. I wanted to hurry this up, I said, tapping my foot upon the porch and stared sternly at the closed doors. I wasn't actually going to hurt him, you know. Enough people have gotten hurt already. <laughs>